What's up everybody? I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and I did a video about the brakes on the Model 3 the other day. I upgraded the brakes from Mountain Pass Performance. I used some jack stands from a company and I had a lot of questions about those so I figured let me tell you about them. Now these are the jack stands. They are Jack stands from Safe Jack, and these these in particular are the Ren stands. You see, there is, is a flat bottom instead of nice sharp edges on other jack stands. This would be more of what people are used to. Those sharp points, well, probably dirty from your garage too. But see those sharp points and all those nasty edges. That's going to dig into this plastic floor and even in a concrete floor. And this top is adjustable but this is not good for a Tesla. There's really no spot to put this. I reached out to the, the company SafeJack and these are called the Ren stands. There's one major problem with using jack stands in a Tesla. There's four points to jack up the car. If you wanna put on jack stands, you're using one of those spots for the jack. And where do you put the jack stand? Unless you have a full floor lift, uh, which most people don't, you really can't use a jack safely on a Tesla. What's really cool about these is the way they go together. You store them separately like this, they go together like this, and they are fully adjustable in height. Let me show you how it works. So I'm just doing this outside of the car so it's easy to see everything. But I have a jack. I bought this jack from Harbor Freight. Yes, I know, I said Harbor Freight. But this is a low profile jack. And this is kind of what you need for a Tesla because these cars are pretty low because the battery pack is so low on the car. And what you do is you take this piece. This is the main piece. You just put this on the plate here. And then it comes with a washer and the Tesla plug. You set this down on there, you put the washer and then you put the plug, and this is what's going to go and lock into the bottom of the car. And you know, you can move this different directions, and then you just lift it up. You start lifting the car up. What else you get are these pins and the side pieces. Well, what you do is you lift one of the side pieces up into the top piece, and you push this pin all the way through. You do the same with the other side. And this is a little easier when there's tension on this piece from the car. You'll notice there's different holes here. And if you wanted to, you can lower the jack until that hole is in place, and then you push this through. You do the same on the other side, and then you can release the jack. Now, the jack is really high. The car is really high. This is firmly in place. To remove them, it's the same thing. It's the opposite way. Put the jack underneath, lift it up, pull the pins, and drop it down to the ground. So this is the safest way to lift the Model 3, the Model S, or the Model X. To say you're going to rotate your tires yourself. You don't feel like going all the way down there, or you, you like to do them more often because the car's heavier. It's going to be a little tougher on the tires than a normal car. A lot of people like to do this maintenance stuff themselves. Say you want to detail the car. You want to buff the car out. Instead of taking it to a shop, you can lift that car up pretty high to really get on the side. I've got a stool that I'm on rolling around on this floor makes it is really nice. If this wheel well was up to here, I can easily get to the bottom half and really clean all this dirt off and then buff it out. And it just makes it that much easier. Let me set up a camera. Let me show you how easy it is to put it up on the jack stands. I'm gonna videotape it, but it's gonna be time-lapsed a little bit because I don't want you sitting here the whole time. Let's see what time it is. It is 1.13 in the afternoon. We'll see what time it is when I'm done.
So now you see the car is really rigid. And this point was off the jack stand. So what we want to do is we want to come back over here and make sure this is in place as we're jacking that side up because it's on that one already and that one. And with this thing being a whole skid, it's so rigid that as we put that side up, this is gonna come in contact again. I'm lowering the jack slowly. So those holes, well that one showed up. So these holes will actually be able to fit in. Slowly lowering it. There we go. And we put the pin in, and then we can put the pressure on it. Look at that. So let's go check the time. One twenty-two. So in less than ten minutes, I've actually jacked the whole car up, filmed it with you. That takes a little bit extra time where I had to come over and show you how, how rigid the car actually is. So in less than 10 minutes, I've jacked the car up on jack stands, on four jack stands. Tires are completely off the ground. So now you can, you can take these wheels off, you can do brake work, you can do suspension work, you can get right up in there. And this is at the lowest setting. They, they do go quite a bit higher. This is gonna be great for when I do more suspension work, rims and tires. I wrap the car. I'm planning on wrapping my car myself. I'm gonna be able to lift this up a little bit higher because I'm tall, I'm six foot five. I'm gonna be able to get to everything a lot easier. Uh, I won't be bending over as much. I won't be killing my back. Uh, if you're detailing the car out, I'm gonna detail my wife's car here uh, probably next month sometime. I'm gonna bring her car in here, jack the Model S up and buff out the whole side because it the car needs a really good cleaning. And this is perfect. This is the right height. I mean, the door handles are right up by my eyeballs now. E easy to go and buff this whole side out. I'm on a stool so I can roll around here. When I'm wrapping the car, it's gonna be so much easier because I don't need to do the roof. The roof is all glass, so everything is right up at my chest level. And this car is off the ground. It took less than 10 minutes. Actually, I might not even need to lift it up any higher when I wrap this. This is actually a good height. How's this gonna damage the floor? Well, you saw the other day I had uh, I had this car up on the jack stands and it's not compressing the floor at all because that plate, this plate is so big. You got a nice wide footprint that's like almost an inch and a half wide and it's one big piece. So you're spreading all this weight over all that. Plus you can stick a light to it. I pretty much park in the same spot every single time and if you get really close, there are some lines. This might be from rolling my jack around. Uh, I don't think it's from, it could be from this edge here. This edge is actually touching this side and it's not really touching flat on this side. It might just be the way that this side was jacked up weird. Uh, this is the driver's side. You don't see those when you're standing. This might be just as high as what the Model Y is gonna be like. That'll actually be really nice to get in and out of. Being able to jack the car up is going to be pretty cool to do some different projects that, that I don't know if I'll be able to get to or get, be able to have done. So if you'd like to get these stands, I'll have a link down below. I don't have a coupon code. You don't have to get all four jack stands. You could just get two of them if you're just working on the front of the car and do the back separately. Uh, but they're on sale right now for $125 each on their website. Click the link below and at checkout, Put in the comment section, you saw them on YouTube uh, from I1 Tesla. Might help me out in the future, don't know. I'd like to do more with them. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay lifted. That was stupid, I'm sorry. That was dumb. Have a good day.